Hi, welcome to Carrie Creates. Today we're going to make sunflowers and you can even make a sunflower out of your snacks today. So creating can happen in the kitchen and here's some examples of that. I took and made sunflowers out of veggie sticks. So can you make a sunflower to your veggie stick? Here's one with a Triscuit and some provolone cheese and some sausage. And here's one with wasabi almonds, carrots, string cheese, and arugula. So if your creation is going to be your snack today, go ahead and take a photograph of that. I'd love to see them. You can message them to me. Or if you're one of my students who's doing Earth Day assignments, go ahead and put it in your um, journal for your classes page or message it to me. Okay, so the book for today is This is the Sunflower. And we're going to draw a sunflower at the end too. So there's tons of ideas and um, alternatives. If you don't have snacky things for today, you can always do a drawing. This is the Sunflower by Lola Schaefer. This is the Sunflower. This is the Sunflower, sunflower tall and bright that stands in my garden day and night. I love the texture that they put in the center of the Sunflower. This is the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden day and night. These are the seeds, black and brown, found in the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden day and night. These are the beaks, sharp and strong, that crack the seeds, black and brown, Found in the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden, day and night. These are the birds, full of song, that use their beaks, sharp and strong, to crack the seeds, black and brown, found in the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden, day and night. Here are a few seeds scattered around, spilled by the birds, full of song, that use their beaks, sharp and strong, to crack the seeds, black and brown, found in the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden, day and night. Now the sun warms the moist ground, that covers the seeds, scattered around, spilled by the birds, full of song, that use their beaks, sharp and strong, to crack the seeds, black and brown, Found in the blossom, yellow and round, that crowns the sunflower, tall and bright, that stands in my garden, day and night. These are the sprouts, rich with life, that grow and grow and grow until a patch of sunflowers, tall and bright, stands in my garden, day and night. And then they even have in the back of this book, the birds full of sound found in this book. So they actually did birds that would eat the sunflower seeds. So if you don't have snacks that you can turn into a sunflower, we can do, this is one of my favorite activities to do in art because it gets at the fact that sometimes when we do that first line, we judge ourselves and we stop drawing. So this drawing, you don't look at it at all. You're going to take a piece of paper, have it on something, um, even if you have to put it on a book or if it's a notebook, that's fine too. I'm going to use a Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing. You can use a pencil or a pen, put it in the center of your paper and put it on top of your head. Now I'm going to draw my flower, do the petals first, the inside and then the stem. And you really have to concentrate because if I concentrate well enough, as I'm drawing my petals, I can kind of approximate on the paper where I think I was and then do my center. And then I'm gonna come down for my stem, go up, do the branch that holds the leaf. I'll do a leaf. This is the hard part, going back down the branch 
go down this stem, go up over to a branch and a leaf and go down. I'll even let you guys see first what I did. Oh, not too bad. And what happens is I've drawn a really abstract sunflower and I can make it interesting by putting different colors into each section. Even in here, I could put all different colors in the section and make it almost like a kaleidoscope. Or what are those things called when we blow on the oh, pinwheel? It almost looks like a pinwheel. Make sure as an artist, you sign your work. And then the other thing I always do, I tell my artist, put your date on here because in 10 years, I'll look back at this and think, oh, look at that. Thank you for joining today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the book and there's tons of ideas of Earth Day week projects to do. Make a snack into a sunflower. Let's see which one of these is not going to slide when I show it to you. Er, there goes the, the carrots. <laughs> this one won't for sure. Oh. Or you can go back to a thousand and one things to spot in the sea and do a turtle. You can go back to the sun book and do one of our art outdoor things where you took branches and leaves and made a tree on the on the ground you can draw the fox from here and of course our very impatient caterpillar and his butterfly that he turns into so first he was a caterpillar and he became patient enough to metamorphosize into a butterfly so lots of activities that you can do for Earth Day week. Just remember, everything we do is consciously giving the message that the Earth and the environment, creatures and flowers are important to us. So have a great day, and I look forward to seeing your work. Thanks. Bye.